Good morning, boys and girls. We've made it to the last week of term one. So congratulations to everybody who's been working hard at home and at school. It hasn't been a big one. This morning, I'm going to read to you The Waterhole by Graham Bass. This book's been around for quite a while. I think it was published in 2001, first published. So it has been a long time. Um, the ID for the Premier's Reading Challenge is 4723. If you're writing that down or wanting to log that with your Premier's Reading Challenge, and you can also write this in your Star Reader booklet. The Waterhole. Just says on the first page here, down to the secret waterhole the animals all come. As seasons bring forth drought and flood, they gather there as one. United in their common need, their numbers swell to ten, but hidden deep amongst the trees lie ten times that again. And down here is a hole in the page that you can touch, and it looks like each layer or each page there's a hole, so you can sort of run your finger over it and and feel that hole. Um, you might have seen this book in our library or you might have it at home as well. One rhino drinking at the water hole. Snort, splosh, mmm, delicious. Two tigers lapping at the water hole. Grrr. Goodness gracious, how very delectable. Frame Base always has amazing illustrations in his books. Three toucans squawking around the water hole. Ark, ark, ark! It's party time, fellas, drink up. But something was happening. What can you see happening? Four snow leopards gazing at the water hole. Hmm, we must be careful, brothers. The pool was getting smaller. Five moose wallowing in the water hole. Moo, moo, mooey. Hey, get your hoof out of my ear. And smaller. Six catfish floundering in the water hole. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub, blub. And smaller. Seven pandas sipping at the water hole. After you. No, no. I insist. Eight ladybirds meeting by the water hole. So in conclusion, ladies and gentle bugs, I propose we establish a subcommittee to report on the water level crisis before the end of the financial year. All in favour, say Bzzz. Nine tortoises lumbering around the water hole. Scroomph, scroomph, scroomph. Okay, which of you wise guys hit all the water? Ten kangaroos looking at the water hole. There was nothing to say. The water was all gone. And that's something we know quite a bit about, isn't it? Until very recently. And of course, on each page, you can count the number of animals. Of course, there will be 10 kangaroos here. If you had this book at home, you can take the time to go through it and count. And all the animals went away.
What a sad picture that is. Then a shadow fell across the sun. Clouds began to gather. A single drop of rain fell. It rained and rained and rained and rained. How lovely is that? And all the animals came back. Woohoo! Yippee! They're all so excited. I love that picture. So colourful, and everybody's so happy to have. Water in the water hole again. And on the last page, it's got all of the numbers listed down here. So the first page there was one, let me flick back and have a look, one rhino. So the rhino was from Africa. The second page, there were two tigers from India. Then there were three um, toucans from South America. Then there were four snow leopards from the Himalayas. Then there were five moose from North America. Then there were six catfish from rivers and streams all around the place. Then there were seven pandas from China. Eight ladybirds from Europe. We've got ladybirds here too. Nine tortoises from Galap Galapagos Island. And ten kangaroos from Australia. We know that one. Isn't that a fantastic book? There's so much to look at, so many things to learn about. It's a really, really good book. So you might be able to. Have a look on your bookshop, bookshelf at home and see if you've got that. Um, and otherwise, you can also phone the um, Narrabri Town Library and Mrs Campbell is actually delivering books home to you at the moment. So if you phone up, she, she might have a book that you're after and she could deliver it to you. Um, or go back on our library classroom page. I might even post that again about some of the websites that are um, available to you to use to borrow books and read books online. Have a wonderful day, everybody.